Welcome to TKRC TV. It's Pro Mod Action. Bracket number seven out of ten in the 2024 Summer Series. This is event number four overall. As we're going all out Pro Mod racing. We've got a nice quick track. We're taking a look at our fast qualifiers. Equalizer, Chris Parrish setting the tone in the LMT based equalizer truck. Max D and Gravedigger, both from Josh Rhodes, narrowly behind. As we get into action, we've got a perfect 32 truck bracket. So out first is our number one qualifier, equalizer Chris Parrish facing off against Greg Coffey in Avenger. Oh, Parrish with trouble, Coffey charging. Equalizer, a little bit of a scare, getting it done as Greg Coffey in the Avenger was charging hard at the finish line. The number 16-17 matchup. Goblin, Chris Hackinson, and gunslinger Michael Spurlock. These two have both been charging hard this season. Who's going to get it done? Coming from a little bit lower in the bracket, really about the middle of the pack with the 16-17 matchup in the 32 trucks. Goblin Hackinson in trouble. You hear the shrieks of frustration as Gunslinger gets it done, taking down the Goblin. Irreparable damage, Isaac Ankrum. And the Raminator, Cheech Agosh. The 825 matchup. Oh, irreparable damage with a big hole shot. Cheech charging, and the Ram is upside down, and irreparable damage grabs this victory. Ankrum right back up on the line in the same lane, this time with the Red Rocket in the far lane, facing off against Iron Aaron James and the Hellion. Hellion all out of shape, taking out the turn marker, and much like irreparable damage, Red Rocket grabs the victory, looking strong in that far lane. I wonder if he's making a home out there, if he can help it. Firestone Bigfoot, number four qualifier, Bob C. Chandler, facing up against the number 29, Keith Vogt and USA One. Vogt off to the lead, oh, wide through the corner, Chandler. Smooth, slow and cautious over the car set, not to get out of shape, and Firestone Bigfoot gets it done. Vote right back up on the line, this time in Crash Test Dummies. He swapped lanes and facing off against Iron Aaron Janes and Zeus. Janes with a big wheelie in the near lane. He's in trouble. Vote looking solid, charging to the finish line. Collects it between the cars and gets it done. Crash test dummy. Mad Dog, the number 28 qualifier, Troy Hawes, facing off against Mr. Holmes Power. Mike Bufka in the near lane. That 97 Ford in the far lane. Troy with his concept body for Mad Dog as a pro mod. Mr. Holmes Power getting it done though. Fallout 2 in the far lane, Chris Hackinson. An Avenger in the near lane, Chris Lane. We've got a green Avenger and we've got a chrome silver Avenger. Lane running the silver Avenger. But right now he's in trouble. Oh, making up ground and then losing it on the final straightaway. Fallout gets it done. Max D. Josh Rhodes, the number two qualifier, facing off against the awesome looking pro mod concept, four wheel crazy, the Toyota body from Chichagosh. Max D gets it done though. John Arnold making an appearance with the Ripper. Number 15 qualifier and underpowered Andy Salerno, the number 18 qualifier. 
Arnold shows up occasionally, trying to snag a victory here, charging hard at the finish line. Great style after the finish line, but not going to do it as underpowered powers to the victory. Salerno right back up on the line, swapping lanes. It's Purple Haze in the far lane, facing off against Chris Lane and Stomper. Lane with some issues through the corner, but getting it done and powering down the final straightaway, making it happen. I'm showing a trend here with trucks swinging wide through the first corner and then launching into that turn tire marker in the second corner. If you can line up straight, that'll really help. We'll see how it affects the competition as we head through this bracket as Careless Whisper has no problems and takes the win. Josh Rhodes in the Grave Digger, the number three qualifier, facing off against Troy Haas in the step side. Wild Hair Pro Mod. Wild Hair off to the lead. Oh, a little out of shape. Both trucks charging to the finish line, and the Grave Digger Warpath gets it done. Ballistic Orange in the far lane. Chris Blank and Jeremy Mark and Taurus in the near lane. A 14 19 matchup. Blank off to a little bit of a lead. Taurus in trouble, but almost benefits from blowing through the tire turn marker. And Taurus with a nice victory. Hold on. Snake bite. Bob C. Chandler in the far lane and Boogie Van. Fred Kaur is in the near lane. Oh, Chandler staying super low over the bus stop obstacle. And Chandler dominant with the snake in that one. Our final pair in round number one. Sudden impact, Jeremy Mark, the number 11. And the number 22, Indominus, Chris Parrish. Two ACRC Havoc chassis. Oh, Indominus pushing wide in the corner, trying to charge back, but that's all it's going to take for a sudden impact to move to round number two. Speaking of round number two, we head into round number two. Number one equalizer, Chris Parrish, facing off against the gunslinger himself, Michael Spurlock. Number one and 17 on the line. Parrish with a little bit of a jump, but straight into the turn markers. Now can't find reverse and gunslinger all the way putting down the equalizer. Bob C. Chandler, the number four qualifier with Firestone Bigfoot and Crash Test Dummy, Keith Voigt, the number 20 qualifier. Oh, looked like Voigt just missed that corner and he pushed wide, missing the ramp, and that's all it takes when you're facing Bob Chandler. Firestone will take the victory, moving to round number three. Mr. Holmes Power in the near lane and fallout. Chris Hackinson in the far lane. Hackinson getting set just perfectly. Lined up so he's got the perfect point of view. Holmes Power wide in the first corner. Wide in all of the corners. Hackinson getting it done with the fallout in the near lane. Cutting those corners nice and tight. Saving some time there. Max D. Josh Rhodes. And underpowered, Andy Salerno. Number two, number 18 matchup. Salerno high over the tabletop, pulling a wheelie. Max D, the ogre chassis, looking good and getting it done. Max D will be in round number three. Who will he face? Will it be number seven, Stomper, Chris Lane in the far lane, or Careless Whisper, Mike Bufka? in the near lane, the number 10 qualifier. Bufka with the jump in the near lane, sliding around the corner. Oh, lane made up ground, but out of shape between the cars. Careless Whisper, power to the ground, gets it done. Number three, Gravedigger, Josh Rhodes, and Taurus, Jeremy Mark. 
Oh, wow, what a corner for Rhodes. Both corners just nailed it. Nearly a perfect run. Smooth sailing for the grave digger in the near lane. Our final pair of round number two. Jeremy Mark right back up on the line, this time swapping lanes, this time facing off against Snake by Bob C. Chandler. Little bit of slide for the snake through the final corner, but he slithers around the corner, taking the win. And finally, irreparable damage defeats Red Rocket as Isaac Ankrum's two trucks faced off against each other, the 8-9 matchup. As we move to round number three, Ankrum is on the line with irreparable damage facing off against the gunslinger, number 17, Michael Spurlock. Irreparable with a big jump off the starting line. Oh, but trouble. Those corners are key and Gunslinger hit them just right. Gunslinger will be in the final four. Bob C. Chandler, Firestone, Bigfoot, and Fallout 2, Chris Hackinson. Chandler pulling the wheelie off the starting line, but a little bit behind and then wide, trying to make up the distance as Fallout carries the momentum to victory. Max D, the number two qualifier, and number 10, Careless Whisper. Buffka in the far lane, Rhodes in the near lane. The Ogre chassis, Max D has been looking good today and so far, and yes, looking good again as he moves to the semifinals. Grave Digger, Josh Rhodes, and Snakebite, Bob Chandler. This should be quite the showdown. Number three, number six matchup. Both trucks have been looking good. Oh, and Chandler's off the side of the obstacle on the outside lane. And that's all it takes when you're facing Josh Rhodes as Grave Digger moves on to the semifinals. <laughs> Speaking of, we're in the semifinal action. Michael Spurlock, a great showing today. Bring out the gunslinger facing off against Fallout, Chris Hackinson. Oh, Hackinson with a beautiful corner, two beautiful corners. Spurlock charging, wow, at the finish line. Gunslinger, smooth and straight, flies right by him. In the other pair, Max D defeats Gravedigger as Rhodes' truck face each other in a good showing today, setting up our finals. Number two, Max D. Josh Rhodes facing off against number 17, Gunslinger Spurlock. Spurlock coming from the middle of the field. How's this going to play out? This should be exciting. Rhodes off to the lead. Oh, Rhodes out of shape between the obstacles. Gunslinger, gunslinger, gunslinger. There you see it. Rhodes hits the cars, throws the truck out of shape, and Gunslinger had his aim on the finish line. Michael Spurlock takes bracket number one of Pro Mod Action. At event number four, here at Trigger King, that actually puts Gunslinger in the lead of the points. Tied at first, technically, with Bigfoot, Firestone, Bob C. Chandler. It could be a battle throughout the rest of the season. We've got three more brackets remaining, so make sure you join us because this could get exciting. It's always wild as the points competitions come down to the final event. We thank you for joining us. We'll catch you next time.